Hi, I'm Jim Meehan, Bar Director of the forthcoming partnership between Snow Peak and Submarine Hospitality, the restaurant Takibi here in Portland, Oregon. Um, today for our Memorial Day drink, I've got something special for you. It reminds me of my days back in New York City when I used to go to David Wondrich's house for Memorial Day weekend. Dave always made us punch, and it wasn't the stuff that I drank in college, it was something new and delicious. Um, he wrote all about it in his great book, Punch, where you can find lots of great recipes for it. I'm gonna make a uh, Dave style of punch, which is the 19th century style uh, popularized by Jerry Thomas and other old school bartenders. It was the simple stuff, one of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, four of weak is an old Bayesian formula for it. Punch traditionally had five ingredients, a sweet ingredient, obviously like sugar, a sour ingredient, obviously like lemons, a strong ingredient, typically like rum or cognac, um, a spice, typically grated nutmeg, and then something to lengthen it and kind of make it smooth because punch was created for sailors who ran out of beer and wine. So while punch has a really strong name, it's actually a low ABV sippable drink that's perfect for weekend parties because you do all the work up front and then you get to enjoy it at the end of the process with your guests. Um, this is going to be a multiple part process and the exciting part about this first step is instead of this turning into punch, this is actually going to turn into lemonade for my two kids tomorrow. So we're going to do this in multiple parts. Tonight I'm going to demonstrate how to make the oleo sacrum. Sounds like a fancy word, but it's a sugar oil. And then tomorrow we'll make shrub and then lengthen that into a lemonade for the kids. Um, so we've got the 500 ml uh, milk bottle here. We've got three quarter cups of super fine sugar. Um, I went actually to go see the space where Takibi is today. William Sonoma is right across the street. So Amy, whose uh, partner works at Snow Peak, uh, sold me this peeler. You wanna get like a sort of vertical style peeler or you could use your knife if you'd like. But I'll show you this process. The idea with um, oleo sacrum is we are gonna try to get the oil out of the peels of all of these lemons. And if we can cut them into uh, one, big, one big spiral, it'll be easier to separate them tomorrow when we make the shrub. So I'm gonna just take the tops off of each of my lemons, trying to make sure that I don't um, expose the fruit as I did here uh, because I want to save these for tomorrow. So the idea is to follow this all the way around. And with a peeler like this, the goal is to grab as much of this aromatic skin of the peel and leave behind the white pith, which doesn't have these aromatic oils we're looking to capture uh, and is a little bit bitter. So this was the goal to capture this in one big continuous peel. So I'll save this for tomorrow. And then this spiral gets twisted up, put into my milk jar. And what I'm gonna do uh, is spare you the time it's gonna take me to peel the next three, um, but I will peel the next three after we turn this video camera off. You're gonna add your three quarter cups of super fine sugar. You just want the, the granulated white sugar. You could also use um, a cane, like a cane sugar or even a tor uh, turbinado if you wanted. But essentially what's gonna happen is when that peel is with the sugar, we're gonna top this off and then we're gonna give it a shake. And I'll fill this with the other three peels for tomorrow. But what'll be very cool is tomorrow when you look in here, what's going to happen overnight is the lemon, the sugar is going to extract all the oil out of the lemon peel and we'll be left with this lemon oil and sugar that we'll then add the lemon juice to. So here, uh, I'll cut the video now. I will see you tomorrow you'll see the magical transformation between the sugar and lemon to form 
Holy Ghost Sacrum to make our shrub. See you tomorrow. Good night.